something really exciting. I came to New York just for the day to go, as you guys probably already know from the title of this video, apartment shopping. <laughs> we decided it's time to move out of DC. I've been wanting to move for a while, but we weren't 100% sure on where we were gonna go yet. We were deciding between Chicago or New York, mainly because Nate's work, the people he works for, they have an office in either of those places. So we were deciding between those two and then just within the last few weeks, finally made our decision that we choose New York just because I've always wanted to live here. I feel like if we want to live here now is probably the time, like mid 20s would be kind of our only opportunity to do it. And you never know what could come from living here. So I'm really, really excited. But what we realized is that the apartment market is a struggle, struggle. Thankfully, I have some friends who already live here. So they've kind of given me like recommendations about places to avoid living in, best places to live in, probably people our age, stuff like that. So that's been super helpful. But just finding ones available for like our move-in date and in the right place and it not being too far from a metro and it being clean. Like it's just, it's really, really difficult. The apartments here fly off the market in two seconds. So that is why I am here today to see ones that we've had our eye on. And hopefully if we find one good, we lock it down before someone else does. <laughs> Right now, I decided to stay in an area that's like kind of close to where we originally thought we wanted to live, but I'm mainly here to just see the neighborhoods of apartments that we would potentially live in because that's the biggest thing, I think. You know, New York's not that big, but like every single neighborhood is different safety-wise, how many metros are there, like things around. So I really just think it's most important to come here and kind of scope out the neighborhoods and the streets and then make our decision based off that. The hotel I'm staying at has this really cool view. Let me show you. Since this is such a big decision and really, really exciting, I wanted to take you guys with me. So without further ado, let's go apartment shopping in New York City. This is why it is so important to like go here if you're looking for an apartment and like walk around the area because I had this apartment listed as like literally one of our top ones and now that I'm like walking around the area and like seeing what's nearby it's kind of in like a no man's land like the nearest subway is far, the nearest grocery store is far so now it's like at the bottom of my list. I was wondering if it's even gonna be worth it to like see but since I came this far I'm here I might as well check it out but definitely not at the bottom of my list. <laughs> I found an apartment with my dream view. Right when I thought I was gonna rule that place out, then I saw the apartments and wow. That one penthouse one with the view, insane. But now I'm going to the next. Now I'm in the financial district and I'm checking out a new apartment. Alright, so I just got back to my hotel after a very, very long day of looking at apartments. It's like 7 p.m. now and I think I haven't been back to the hotel since 11 a.m. So I was literally out the entire day just kind of walking around different areas and looking at apartments. I saw three different buildings today, the second two in the financial district, and I definitely liked that area more than the first one that I saw today. But I don't know, the apartments themselves, like the first one that I saw in the financial district, the building, the location was amazing. but. 
the layouts that I saw weren't like the best and the windows were kind of small and there was no view. And then the last one I saw, the view was amazing. The location wasn't as good and there was no in-unit washer and dryer so you had to pay for laundry, which sucks. So I don't know. I just feel like every single place, like there isn't going to be a perfect place like there's going to be pros and cons of everything and we really just have to decide what is most important to us I guess but so far it's been very informative I'm so glad I came and kind of scoped out the locations more so than anything tomorrow I'm doing the same thing I think I'm going to three more buildings so hopefully we have a winner soon I'm so exhausted I'm really debating like DoorDashing food because I don't know if I can go back out. Alright, so I'm in love with the area that I'm in right now and I'm going to tour the properties, so fingers crossed that they look good. So excited because I'm moving to New York City. Woo! So it's currently only seven days left until I move. I It still doesn't feel real, but I wanna take you guys with me on this adventure of moving from DC to New York City. And I just wanna show you guys basically what the process is like moving there, how we're gonna do it, and everything that happens along the way. So come with me to move to New York City. All right, so it's currently, like I said, seven days until we move, and I wanna give you an update on how it's going. So we actually have a lot of packing done already. I kind of have done pretty much all the kitchen stuff, some of my bedroom things, but got a lot left, like decor, and then obviously just furniture. But we're honestly not doing too bad of a job. So for this move, we're going to take a U-Haul and we're not gonna have a car in the city. So we're just taking a U-Haul one way up. And we really wanted to minimize the amount of stuff that we're bringing just to make it easier. So we've sold a lot of things. Actually, we've made almost $1,600 off of Facebook Marketplace just selling random things that either we don't use or we're gonna get a new thing of, like a bed frame, stuff like that. So this is currently our couch. My air mattress, nice, right? <laughs> but yeah, so the update right now is we just have started packing. I would say we're about halfway done. We've sold pretty much everything that we need to sell besides the dresser and now it's just Finished up packing, but we probably have to wait until we get a little bit closer to the move-in date because the things that we haven't packed yet kind of still need to use, like some kitchen stuff, some things in my closet. But yeah, finish up packing, sell my dresser, and then move. I'll come back here in a few days and update you on how it's going. All right, only one day left until we move. Just want to do a quick update on what's changed since then. We sold the dressers. Thank goodness, another $200 for more decor and another thing we don't have to move. So that's great. We've packed a little bit more, but we still kind of have a lot of things to do. We gotta pick up more boxes today. Finish packing because tomorrow at like 8 a.m. we're going. <laughs> the night before moving and I'm ready to pass out. We have literally been packing for eight hours. I think it turned into a lot more than either of us remembered or thought it would be. We sold a whole bunch of things so I think we thought it would be a lot less but wow <laughs> and we're still not done because we ran out of boxes and we need probably like four or five more and we're picking up the truck tomorrow at 7 30 a.m 
So, moved the eight boxes before, after, I don't know. That's tomorrow's problem. I'm going to bed right now. I'm so tired. Still so excited, but mostly tired right now. See you guys tomorrow for the move day. Today is the day we're moving to New York. We just picked up our U-Haul. We are now hoping that it's big enough and wondering if it is big enough because we got the smallest one because they only have that available. And now we just hope that everything fits. We did get movers for here in DC. So that will definitely help organize it. Okay, let's take a look. What are we thinking? Um. That'd be tight. Cause like, you think desk here, like a lot of it will be taken up by the desk. You're like Vanna White. <laughs> huh? You're like Vanna White. Desk, the desk, the mattress. I know. We should have booked it. If anything can go up there, then maybe. <laughs> As you can see, we are completely packed to the brim. I don't think either of us expected that we had that much stuff. I think in the past we've always done like a size bigger truck, but we have no furniture right now except for our mattress and a desk. So we're like, okay, if we have no furniture, in the past we've had furniture and had a lot of space left. So we're like, okay, a size smaller would be fine. I mean, it is, but like, <laughs> wow, I don't know how the movers packed that. Thank goodness we got them because I don't think we could have figured out how to stack it like that. But it's literally from the ground to the ceiling, the entire thing. <sighs> well, we did it. Just getting the final touches and we're going to get the kitties and then we're going to head on the way. So about six hours later, we are finally packed into our car. I literally can't believe how long this has taken. Even since my last check-in, it's probably been like two hours. Just loading the van. We still had packing to do in the morning. Taking care of all the kitties. We got two cats. So that just added to the hassle. Literally took so long, but we are finally packed in. We're ready to go. Now we are leaving way later than we expected to. I think it's like 1 p.m. at this point. We thought we were going to be leaving at 10 a.m. So now we're going to be getting there in rush hour and arriving at 5 p.m. and then have to unload all of this. Like This day has just been the longest day I think of my entire life. But you know what? It's going to be worth it. Now we got a four hour drive from DC to New York City. Oh, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. On the road. Okay, so we're about over halfway. I think there's only like an hour, 20 minutes left, and we're making our first stop. Minnie's been sleeping on me the whole way like a good girl. Ginny's just been chilling in her cave. <laughs> They've been actually doing so well. This drive, knock on wood, has been going really, really well. What are you doing down there? Now we're going to be a little restless. Okay. The drive's been going really well. We're getting in 10 minutes early. Fingers crossed that that still ha is happening. But yeah, we're both exhausted. But now it's starting to hit us that, like, we're going to be in New York in an hour to live there. 
I'm literally so excited. Now all the excitement's flooding in. Before it was just stress and moving. Now we're getting excited. Okay, so we just made it into the city, but I wish I could be more excited about it. We have run into a lot of problems getting here. So like the drive was fine, but remember how I said like it took so much longer to like pack and load things up than we expected. Well, in turn, that got us here a lot later than we expected. So we were supposed to get here around three and it's six o'clock and we're just getting here now. And we had reserved like this loading dock for our U-Haul to load into our apartment building. That was supposed to end at 5.30 and apparently our apartment building people don't allow you to do it past like six o'clock. And we're like talking to them and telling them our whole story and like, could we please just have it for like one more hour? Hold on, Nate's calling me. Hey. Why? Okay. Um, are we both sleeping on the floor? Well, we would just bring them to the hotel. Some do. Okay, so like there's, for sure there's no way we can get the mattress in. Alright, so solution is you're gonna call them right now, tell them no. And I'll look into hotels, I guess. All right, bye. So that was Nate with an update. And yeah, so we for sure can't move in tonight. And he just went in to see, because even though we're like, okay, even if we don't need the service elevator, can we still move our stuff in or like a mattress so we can sleep the night? And they said no. And then Nate just went in there to check it out and he said, yeah, like we would definitely need to reserve the thing. Like we couldn't get a mattress in. So now I have to look up hotels. <laughs> like we literally just got here and we have our cats. So I'm like, a hotel? Oh my gosh, this is just like, we said our worst case scenario is we have to get a hotel. And here we are. But you know what? We're still in New York, and I'm still so excited to move here, but just it's a little more tricky and more expensive with all these extra fees than we had anticipated. <laughs> so the day didn't exactly go as planned. We are now in a hotel for the night with the two girls. See where they are. I've never been in a hotel with them before, so this is interesting and a lot more stressful for them than we wanted, but everything worked out. We're here. We're finally able to get excited because we have a plan for tomorrow. Super early, like 8 a.m., we're gonna move in and everything's gonna be amazing. We're loving the area. The apartment looks beautiful. <sighs> Just a very stressful, chaotic day, but that's okay. We made it, and we're gonna get some sleep because we are exhausted. And tomorrow, we'll finally be moving in. Woo! See you guys tomorrow. Morning to day two of moving into New York City, which shouldn't have been a day two, but here we are. At least today, I know we got a game plan and I know nothing's gonna go wrong. So I stayed overnight in a hotel near our apartment, which thankfully it was super easy to find pet friendly hotels. I was really stressing about that, but it was easy. The girls are chilling in the hotel. This is their first time in a hotel room, so that's a little interesting, but we're making it work. In about 30 minutes, I'm gonna head over. I still haven't seen our apartment at all yet. I'm gonna head over and get my keys. We're gonna start unloading, and I'm gonna see it for the first time. Whoa! I can, hi Jenny! One of our cats is really shy and the other is like very outgoing. So the shy one just came out of her little hiding spot. So yeah, I'm really excited because we finally will be moving in and nothing can go wrong because we're already here in the city. We have our U-Haul for the whole day. The only 
downside is we're not gonna hire movers this time, but our apartment people said we get the elevator all freaking day. So, <laughs> I'm in New York. How are we doing, girls? Are we doing good? We're doing as good as we can be. Things just keep getting more and more interesting and fun. So yesterday was a beautiful day. It was like 60 degrees, sunny. Today we wake up 40 degrees pouring rain so great day to move in now we get to the place and oh wait I just shut the door um we're at the place ready to move in and there's like this garage and then a door over there and we thought we could just pull the u-haul back it into this garage so that you know it's covered and then the elevator is literally right there easy easy so I went in and the maintenance guys basically told me, oh, it's this door. So we have to go through this tiny door and then like wrap around instead of pulling the U, backing the U-Haul into the garage where it would be covered. Now we're gonna be walking down the street with all of our stuff in the pouring rain. And they just went in to go see, so cross our fingers we can back in it oh my gosh I see it opening and it's standing there now we're coming to our home oh I love how big the windows are it's coming along all right, so our couch just got delivered. We actually had gotten a new couch just because one, our other one was old and ugh, not super cute. And two, we thought it'd be easier to move if we didn't have a giant couch. But <laughs> this couch, I mean, it's beautiful. It's so comfortable, but look at how big it is. <laughs> like it takes up the entire living room. So when we ordered it, we didn't really know the size. I don't know, I guess, because we had been looking at ones like this in the store and they were a great size. So we thought it was just gonna be the same because it's just like one, two and chase, usually not that big. This one is 12 feet long. <laughs> but honestly, gonna be perfect for, if anyone wants to sleep there, freaking two people could sleep there. But yeah, so we got our couch. We're starting to get all the boxes in. I think we almost have all of the boxes. Our girls have been transferred to the bedroom. Let's see where they are. I think they're both in the closet. Hi, girls. Oh. I assembled our bed frame because we also got a new bed frame. I didn't finish it all the way. It's like one of those ones that has storage underneath, which is nice, but it's looking good so far. It's been quite the journey, but it's coming together and I'm so, so excited. Well, after how many hours? Many. It's now? 4.30 and we started at 8.30 in the morning, but we finally did it! Ooh, we moved in! Right, Minnie? You excited? <laughs> well, we ended the night with Joe's Pizza and relaxing because we are all so exhausted but i also put together some of our new furniture and i'm loving how our bedroom's coming out in celebration 
we are gonna get Joe's pizza tonight and finally be able to enjoy our first real night in our apartment. So I got these little nightstands from Amazon and the bed frame and they match perfectly. And then this light from Ikea, I think it's so cute. I'm so happy and so excited to be done, but we still have a lot of unpacking to do, but that'll be tomorrow's problem. Hey guys, I just wanted to come in here to kind of end this video with an update. So it's been seven days now, so like a week since we moved into our apartment. And honestly, the time has just like flown by. So my best friend came and visited this past weekend and that even more so made it feel like we're just kind of here on a vacation. Cause like, you know, we did the typical like touristy things. And then our first night we had to spend it member in a hotel room. So like, it's still, doesn't really feel real like we're living here yet, which is, it's just, it's a wild time. We are loving the area that we are in. Love it so much. It's by pretty much everything we would need. It's really, really pretty along the water. I'm looking out right now and, and the building in front of me, like it's really stunning today and you can see the reflection of the water and I can see literally like boats going across like, we love it so far. Obviously, it's only been seven days, so still not getting the full picture, but we are so happy. We finally have pretty much unpacked everything. We still have some boxes because I had to get a new dresser and like half of my clothes were in my old dresser. So like that's pretty much it for what I need to still unpack. Let's see if you can see. So we have our couch, we have a little office set up going right here. Cause as you can see pretty much everything, the kitchen's all set up, our bedroom is pretty much all set up, bathroom still needs a few finishing touches, but it's coming along. As you guys saw, like it was hectic to say the least to get to this point. It was a long journey, both searching for apartments, finding a good one, and physically the journey from DC to here and moving in and everything, but I think it's so worth it. I, it just feels so surreal and like magical to be here. I felt really inspired and I think it's gonna be for the best, so. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me through this journey and stay tuned because I'm starting a new Instagram channel called NYC with Sav where I'm going to be sharing all of my New York City adventures and basically what I do on the days when I'm not out traveling the world. You know a lot of travel influencers kind of just show what their life is like when they travel right? I kind of want to show what my life is like also when I'm not so. If you guys are interested in that or more of my New York adventures, be sure to give that a follow. And thank you guys for watching. Until the next video, keep exploring. Bye.